Okay, folks, let's just see how hard it is for Mama to find eggs. I've been looking and looking. Let's see how many eggs there is, because I know I've been missing some. I just heard her back here. Up, up, up. Six eggs. Yep. Is there any place they won't hide them? Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, now that I got these beautiful eggs, now that I got them all dirty because I was watering the macaws and everything gets wet when I do that. Let me see if I can turn you around here. Oh, these girls, I'm telling you, they drive me absolutely bonkers. We get these in the house. And I want to talk to you for a minute about something. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is so hot here. Oh. I have literally fallen in love with these new feeders. I like the fact that they're up off the ground. I'm sorry I'm sweating really t terribly. <sighs> yes, I do believe that chicken is a female. That's silky. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this dog. Last night I had to put this down over that because I missed a spot where she could dig. So I need to put the other one over there. But I got these over here. I guess I could just lean that forward like that. But it gotta fall up more. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's down there. And of course, my girls have got to get out every time they get a chance. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Oh, they went over on the other side of the yard. I raked this whole area up just two days ago. And I want you to look. They've already got it destroyed again. So, I'm gonna cut some uh, limbs down for them to eat off of. I should say leaves. I know, you guys. Those, those of you who know that bananas are not trees, they are plants, forgive me, but I've always called them a tree. And their leaves were limbs. But, oh well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim them down and give them some more stuff to eat. Um, my, my little fly catcher is getting full. I'm really happy with those fly catchers, but I need more of them. And uh, I need a way to be able to reuse them. It frustrates me that they are not reusable because once you once they fill up, you have to literally fight, fight, fight to get all those out. <sighs> I love it that Princess is able to eat. Yes, yeah, sometimes I call her, my little Princess there, I call her Precious. And here comes the other heifer that keeps picking on her. God forbid her eat something. That silky, I swear, is a female. But David keeps saying it's a male. But I'm somewhere, I swear she's having chicks. Uh, 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 uh. I got the big girls out there. I don't want you out there too. I prefer them to be inside. So I found out these white um, birds 
are, oh my goodness, God, Rhode Island Whites. And um, they are just as cute as can be. She even pesters them. <laughs> but, um, what I want to know from you guys is, do y'all feed your babies other things? I pull all the weeds out front and have Lance bring them in here to them. I'm constantly bringing them in uh, weeds and stuff like that to eat. And, uh, goodness gracious, that's not supposed to be out here. It's supposed to be in there. So, I'm going to have to put this in here. Don't want my chickens eating that. I'll show that to David. I don't know how that got out here. And I hear alarm going off somewhere. My little girls up here are very, very happy to be in a bigger uh, environment. They seem to be much, much happier. <laughs> and I'm tickled that they are doing so well. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to walk over here and feed the rabbits. I give the rabbits these pellets. And uh, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, pellets. Anyways. Oh, my word. I've got so much to do around here. Come on. Come on, butterscotch. Come on. Okay, quit digging over there and come on. Ah, uh, she don't want to come. She's got it made out here. In my jungle. Yeah, I need to get this place cleaned up. <sighs> I wish I could afford to have somebody come in and just help me clean up everything and get everything set up the way I want it. But that's just not feasible. And because I rely on when I'm feeling good and when David's feeling good to help me do anything, I really have to be careful. Not to overwhelm myself, too. But I've got a lot of projects I want to get done. And this is one of them. <sighs> Look how beautiful that tree came back. I think I'm going to cut the underneath story out. But this is what I'm talking about. All of this has got to be cleaned out. And I want to, uh, I, I got to do something with this. I got to find out why I'm not getting um, fruit off of it anymore. That's just breaking my heart. So, uh, oh my goodness, look at here. I have wild blueberries, I mean blackberries, and I actually have a fruit sticking up there or two. Got one right there and one right there. Huh. I bet the birds get them before I do. Anyways, um, I want to figure out how in the world to get that going again. I, I, it's got to be deficient in something or something. I, I don't know. The rains always hit it the same time of the year and just absolutely absolutely tear it up so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that and I hope I don't get stung by bees today because I'm pulling uh, <clears throat> vines to give to my these are these are uh, sweet potato vines that I give to my babies. Uh, 
Oh, goodness gracious. They never want to break where I want them to. I give these to my rabbits. And they love, love, love them. So. Let me open this up. And give them a little treat. I'm sorry guys, this is crazy. I'm gonna turn you around so that you can see me while I'm talking to you. Uh, breaking these aren't as always as easy as they look. And then I gotta give some to her. And I'm hoping, I don't know, I keep swaying back and forth. Do I want to raise rabbits or do I want to quit raising rabbits? Because here in Florida, it's so dang gum hot that it's just way, way, way too hard on their bodies. And trying to keep them in ice water, uh, these are the jugs that I use. And then they start chewing on them and stuff and I'm worried about that. <sighs> so, I'm just tempted to just tear all these down and let them go into the ground. And uh, I don't know, I just haven't made up my mind yet what I'm gonna do with the rabbits. But I need to do something because I can't take it no more. And I can't take all this excess craziness. It's so crazy here. Oh man, look at all these. I, I didn't look at it from this direction. Look at all these apples up there. Far out, very excited to see that. So, uh, oh, and this, this, uh, Mexican sunflower. I'm thinking about cutting a few of those flowers and bringing them in. They smell divine, but I know I'll be sneezing like crazy. I hear water dripping. I'm going to have to find out where that's coming from. Okay, that's coming from the quail cage. And I just put water in their cage. I hope it doesn't all drain out before I get there. We shall see. Well, something. Something went wrong there. It was just all draining out on the ground. See the ground there? Every bit of the water almost drowned it, ground out. Uh, oh well. I'll have to put some more water in that whenever I can get the hose fixed later on. But they've got enough water for now. There's only four of them in there. Still a little water in the jug. Whew. And look here my girls are happy 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 out and in out and in out and in in and out in and out in and out <laughs> and look at my little silky she's bathing in the dirt it'd be nice if i seen an egg come out of her because i know that's a female i just do Anyways, look how beautiful these flowers are. And they smell just like honey. They really do. So, anyways, I just want to know 
how many of you guys feed this video was how many of you guys feed your chickens weeds and leaves from your from your trees and flowers and plants <clears throat> mine love banana leaves so i gotta get to cutting some banana leaves i'll catch you next time bye now